Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Disappointing. Um, first up is The Good, and that is Devolution, or Devolution. This is a Rick Remender book put out by Dynamite. Now, this is not the best, greatest book, but I, you know, I acknowledge that I normally highlight um, Marvel books or DC books occasionally. And I wanted to highlight more independent books. So since this is a number one issue, I thought this would be a perfect I, perfect time to do it because it's not that bad of a story. It's off to a pretty decent start. Curious to see where this is going to go. And it's going to get violent. Uh, basically, I have to be careful because there's a little bit of nudity here. So if I don't move around a lot on these pages, that's why. Basically, the gist of the story is where the world has been just overrun with violence and corruption, pollution, war, and they just kept emphasizing war, war, war. And the, one of the main problems with the war is, you know, one side would say, my God is correct, so we fight. And the other side says the exact same thing, different gods, so obviously they're going to fight. So the government decided, well, let's make this serum virus thing. We'll drop in our en enemies and we'll de-evolve them and then this way they won't believe in God any longer and everything will work. Well, the problem is they did this serum too good, too well. It's a, extremely powerful. Not only were humans de-evolved into cavemen, but animals were de-evolved into cavemen. And the virus spread. It went into the waterway systems. Um, birds would pick them up the disease or the virus or whatever, go to another location and spread it there. So pretty much everybody is a caveman, a really violent caveman. So technically the war stopped, you know, and um, the story picks up where there's this one woman who's traveling across the country and she is looking for a scientist in San Francisco because he's got the cure or she's helping, assisting in that. And if he can get, if the cure gets completed, then the thought is everybody will revert back to normal and then we can get back with normal society. And um, I can say that it's really violent at times. It's kind of Mad Maxian uh, in the sense that you have pockets of humanity and then they're, you know, obviously they're uh, being run by the alpha male. And it's, you know, everybody lives in fear underneath them type thing. And um, she ends up in one of these camps. So uh, we're going to hopefully, you know, somebody will help her to get her out. And the reason why I'm saying that is because she's not going to be able to get out on her own without help. And But anyways, overall, it's a decent, it was a decent read. I, I will buy the second one for sure just to see where it's going. In a way, this might work better as a trade, but we'll see. But, um... I thought I'd highlight this book, at least. The Bad. Well, okay. The Bad maybe isn't the right word. Maybe a load of shit book. And that is The New Avengers number five. Okay. Here's the deal. Art sucks. The other problem is we've read this story a thousand times. You have a character who is a truly evil. He is rampaging in the future. And heroes from the future go to the past to enlist aid to stop said villain type thing. How many times have we seen this story? And we've seen this story done better. That's the problem. We've seen it done better. And I, I just don't know. You know, it just pains me to think that People are high-fiving each other when they come up with this this load of crap. You know, I just, I, you know, it. I, I guess the other thing that, that I'm thinking is, you know, we just got off this one world-ending event. We have another world-ending event here. We have another world-ending event in Hercules. And it's just kind of like how many world-ending events are there going to be, you know? It just seems like every week there's like a, a new world ending event in every single comic. So that's why, in a sense, Miss Marvel is so much more refreshing because it's just a community. But basically, I just told you what the book is about. You know, Wiccan is going crazy in the future because he's 
been taken over by uh, evil presence. He killed Thor and the Avengers of the future need the help of the past to take him out. And we already know what's going to happen, so why do we even want to bother reading the book, right? Okay, the disappointing. And that is Superman Wonder Woman number 25. This is why, to me, this is a disappointing book. What we have is Superman, I'm sorry, Wonder Woman. You know, Superman's all just done. You know, he's done out. And Wonder Woman goes to the other gods and says, okay, gods, you got to help me. Let's bring Superman back. Hop to it. So the gods decide, well, we're going to give Superman a test. If he passes the test, each one of our tests then will help. And, of course, Superman passes every single test, and they bring him back to life. And something at the very end kind of caught my attention where they said, okay, he's back, but he is, Zine says, and he is completely and fully mortal. And they highlighted the word mortal. So it makes me wonder, you know, what did they do to his body? You know, is he back to his godlike Superman self? Or they make him slightly different. You know, the other complaint I had about this book is it just to me seems like it was too easy to solve the problem. And and now granted, I'm I'm giving it a pass in the sense that if they put a swerve on Superman's resurrection, so to speak, and if they did that, then I'll give it I'll go, okay, fine. You know, I understand it's a plot device to get to what you really want. But if they don't do that twist, then I'm just like, this is... I mean, the whole thing about Superman becoming weaker and all that stuff is just... Why did you put us through that? You know, why did you put us through Superman Fight Club and all that other nonsense when all it took was Wonder Woman to go to the gods and say, heal him, and they go, okay. But anyways, this is why it's a disappointment. It just seems like a cop-out for at least right now. Anyways, that is the good, the bad, disappointing. Uh, let me know what your good, your bad, your disappointing books are. Um, we'll have some more reviews later. Like, share, and until next time.